Hello, it's Timothy Perfit from Chukanoo Software, and I just got a brand new 2018 Mac Mini. And you can tell it's got the nice new space gray on it. You can see it has the USB-C ports in the back. It's kind of hard to see. Let me get a little light over here. The USB-C ports on the back. Um, and I got it all set up. Um, since what we do is uh, provide WinClone and other solutions to be able to manage and deploy bootcamp, um, one of the things I wanted to uh, try is seeing if uh, we can get Microsoft's MDT and WinPE working on it and how difficult it would be to get a brand new machine um, set up and running. So this is uh, an interesting machine because it is the first desktop, uh, well that's not true, the iMac Pro was the first desktop, but this is the first Mac Mini with the new T2 coprocessor. Um, so the uh, T2 coprocessor manages the uh, secure booting, which can affect how Windows boots and it also affects the SSD. And so I already went through this once as a test and we found that the uh, there is a new updated SSD driver. So what I did is I, uh, you can see on the desktop here um, that I downloaded the, uh, the Windows support software from, um, or the Windows support software from via Bootcamp Assistant, and uh, I took the Apple SSD driver, went over to my MDT server, and in, uh, added it to my drivers, and then I created a new WinPE install media, and from there I created a WinClone image, and then a WinClone package. So taking that all aside, um, all you have to do with this new Mac Mini, if you get a bunch of new Mac Minis, is if you double click on this uh, package because WinClone provides a standard Mac OS installer for uh, deploying bootcamp and uh, WinPE. So let me go ahead and put in my password. And what this will do is the package will create a, uh, it'll split the Mac and Windows partition in two, and then it'll restore WinPE um, from the media that I created off from the server and uh, onto the Windows partition. Then it'll restart and boot into it and then restore Windows from the MDT server uh, over the network onto that same partition. And then when we're done, we'll have a Mac partition and a Windows partition, all of it that's been configured um, through your MDT server. Um, it does take a little bit for the disk partitioning to work. Um, while, that's, while that's going on, um, well, it's actually done right now. So let me click on uh, done. And then I'll restart. While I'm restarting, I'll hold down the option key um, so I can select that Windows partition and then it'll boot into the MDT environment and start imaging. Um, one thing you'll notice in the Mac Mini is I do have Ethernet coming out the back. Um, I, I don't, uh, it's usually uh, not recommended and uh, to use Wi Fi. So, yeah, wired is a great way to be able to image it as for the speed as well as um, kind of the compatibility of drivers. So, I can see that I have uh, the Windows volume now shows up. I'll choose Windows and I'll have the ASCII or the kind of retro uh, progress bar come up um, as WinPE loads into memory. Um, that's one of the kind of key points with WinPE is that it loads into memory so you can write uh, the information down on the disk uh, that it booted off of. So uh, the, disk is the disk has already been partitioned, 50% on the Mac side, 50% on the Windows side. I've not booted into the recovery partition. I have not changed anything with Secure Boot. Um, secure, secure boot and external booting is um, configured um, by default to, to require secure booting of both Windows and Mac, as well as um, not allow external booting. But since this is an internal partition, it goes ahead and it allows it. WinClone does have a feature where it does enable Windows secure booting out of the box. Normally you'd have to install Windows via the bootcamp partition or bootcamp assistant to be able to do that. But uh, WinClone has that built into it where it allows right out of the box for you to do secure booting. So um, it usually does two passes through this uh, progress bar and then it'll start booting Windows. Um, which we'll see in a moment. There we go. It started booting Windows PE. This is the point where I got the uh, error messages, error message about the Apple SSD driver. Um, and so I, uh, I just brought over my MDT server, injected that driver from the, the software that Apple provides. And now I have a new WinPE image that I can use across all my devices. So you can see that MDT is, uh, or WinPE is now booting up. I will select the Workflow. Um, I only have one work call, work, workflow called Bootcamp. I'll select that, and then I'll go to Next. All right, there we go. Now we are imaging our uh, Windows partition. 
Um, this is the same partition that we booted off of. Um, again, just kind of repeating what the package did. A, a WinClone allows you to specify what um, size of win Windows partition you want. You can either do it by percentage or fixed size or even restore to an existing partition. What I chose to do with our package is um, split the disk half Mac, half Windows. Out of the box, the Mac Mini comes uh, with APFS, when clone uh, both packaging and regular image restore supports APFS for splitting it and being able to uh, create partitions. So it split the Mac partition in two, put uh, made a Windows partition, a Mac partition, restored the files for um, WinPE on those, booted into it, and now what's happening is it's downloading that image from the Windows uh, server, I have a 2016 Windows server on the network here, and it's uh, imaging it from a standard Windows image uh, that I created with Microsoft Tools. So I'll let this run. Once it's completed, it will reboot and it will go into Windows and start configuring and setting up. So it's a, it's a great uh, test to see that this uh, 2018 Mac Mini um, out of the box secure boots into Windows through a WinPE environment allows you to configure it and get it up and running very quickly. So if you have that kind of environment, um, be assured that uh, the Mac Mini, 2018 Mac Mini does support that. And the T2 processor only makes uh, um, things better in the sense that it's more secure now and uh, it doesn't get in the way of uh, imaging uh, Windows onto these Macs, especially if you're doing it in a kind of a mass deployment with packages via WinClone. So I'll let this run. I'll come back in a little bit and uh, talk a bit about the configuration. All right, looks like it's completed. It's uh, completed the um, task sequence and now it's rebooting and uh, it'll boot back into that same partition that was um, uh, used when we put WinPE on it, but now it laid down all the files replacing the WinPE files and uh, now it's booting up into Windows. Um, so at this point, it's going to go ahead and set it up just like you've, uh, whatever is installed in your image um, that you did uh, with the Microsoft tools to be able to do any of the uh, post install um, imaging tasks. Um, I just did a very vanilla one, um, just made sure the drivers were in there. Um, it'll um, be able to set up and uh, go through the uh, setup assistant to allow me to choose the options. Um, so it'll take a little bit while while it crunches through that. Um, but then uh, the, one of the last things I want to show is the uh, ability to see that it is secure booted um, in Windows. So I'll go ahead and let that finish and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, Windows is up and running. And uh, so now we, uh, not, well, I want to go in and just run MS, Win, uh, MS Info and see that it's secure booted. Oops, hey, sound card's working fine. Okay, so we got MS window up. It's kind of hard for you to see this, but um, let's see, secure brute state is on. So it's kind of hard to see that. I think you can see that a little. You can you can see that a little bit, but the secure brute state is on. Um, so we from uh, beginning to end, so we never turned off secure booting. We're able to create the partition, restore WinPE boot into WinPE, image the machine, and then boot back in. At this point, you'd be taken over with control of your SCCM or client management server, and we're up and running. So um, there you go. That's uh, kind of the process of the 2018 Mac Mini. It turns out, except for that one Apple SSD driver, it uh, images uh, exactly like uh, it would um, uh, on uh, iMac Pro or the 2018 MacBook Pros. So. Um, be aware that the uh, that's only one way you can use WinClone to image your machines. We also have a package option where you can create the package on the Mac Mini or the image on the Mac Mini and then clone that out. Um, but this is one of the kind of more intensive uh, tasks to be able to do this to be or not intensive. One of the more um, a lot of different things have to go right in order for this to work in the hardware. So we always make sure we test the latest hardware. And the 2018 Mac Mini definitely. Um, works great. It works, uh, kind of exceeds my expectation in terms of what um, uh, the ease uh, ability to have a secure booting from soup to nuts, basically, from, from the very beginning, um, creating the partition all the way through installing. So if you want to learn more about WinClone Pro, um, please head over to twocanoes.com um, slash WinClone dash pro, um, and you can uh, put in a request for a a uh, full feature trial and try it in your environment 
And uh, if you want any information, just uh, please go to our website and click on the connect or the contact uh, uh, link in the in the footer. So again, this is Tim Perfect from Two Canoes Software. Thanks very much for watching, and um, I'm excited about the 2018 Mac Mini.